know, probing is such a vital part of the sales cycle. Yet many sales reps skip over this important part. Why? Well, because most Americans have the attention span of gadflies, many of us are afraid to, that if we talk too much or ask too many questions, we'll lose our client's interest and eventually the sale. Others feel that uh, probing or asking questions is something that's very really uncomfortable. They feel like they're becoming police officers interrogating that suspect. How many employees do you have? How many phone numbers do you have? Who's your internet provider? Where were you on the night of February 31st? Can we all just get along? <laughs> or maybe they're at the, the doctor's office getting that dreaded exam. Mr. Taylor, this is going to hurt you a whole lot more than it's going to hurt me. Yet, probing, asking questions, or covering needs is such a vital part of the sales cycle. And many of the most experienced reps and well-paid reps always use it. Let's see how. The cardinal sin for probing is either asking too few questions or too many questions. Mm. It's finding the balance. Finding the balance. Very Knowing good. when to stop probing. How do you know when to stop? When you know what the right package is for your customer. What's key to probing is, you know, you can take a look at their phone bill and you'll see that it's 500 and we'll come in and we'll be 200, 250, 279, whatever it may be. So now you're getting excited, you know, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to show up and throw up. I can do this, I can do that. Oh my God, I can save you money. That's now how it works. That's not professional. You want to build a rapport because at the end of the day, once they trust you, that's going to be your referral. Well, most important key to probing is asking the customer if you can ask him a couple of questions about his or her business, you, you must ask permission to probe. Okay. It builds a relationship. It builds a trust and it builds courtesy and professionalism. It's always very important to have your pad when you're probing. You're going to ask one question at a time. Make sure that when the customer replies to your question, that you reply back exactly what the customer said so you're on the same page and you're writing back down exactly your question, the answer to your question, and how it was probed. It, let, I'll give you an example. Alarm line. You don't want to set an expectation and all of a sudden find out, boom, there's an alarm line. You want to go down the list. And by going down the list, if you have five questions, six questions, seven questions, and you, you, you can benefit them on six of the seven questions, then you only have really one question that can be confrontational or that can be, that needs to be um, addressed. Exactly. Hey, well, the first thing when I, when I uh, walk to a business and I start probing, I ask the customer, is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions to learn more about your business and what you guys do here? And then from there, I go, I probe through thoroughly, open-ended questions to finish up, and then open-ended questions to find out as much as I possibly could f from the business so then I could possibly provide them the best solution and package that best fits their, their company. Thanks so much for meeting me. But you will be thanking me by the time I get finished with you. Is that so? Oh, for sure. Let me start by saying that I can save your company at least 50% on your telecom expenses. I save all you guys a lot of money. But, I'm not like every other guy. My company is different. We. Oui. For sure. Listen Lisa, may I call you Lisa? No. Why not? Because my name is Leslie. Oh for sure. So if you just provide me with a copy of your phone bill, I can put a nice little package together for you. Listen Nick, I think I've heard enough. Wait. I'm sorry. You want me to probe you right? You look like the type that like to be probed. Good day, Nick. Oh, for sure. Hey, that Nick, he's something else. Don't be like him. Don't show him throw up. Take your time and probe. Remember, get permission to ask questions. Set expectations with the customer. When you ask the questions, prepare a list of them. Have them prepared and outlined in your head, on your laptop, or on a sheet of paper. Write these questions down. You know you're ready to present when you've answered all his questions. You'll have the perfect package ready for the customer. 
hey, that's the key to probing. Don't show up and throw up. Ask questions, take your time. You'll make the customer happy and you'll make yourself happy with the sale. Hey, until next time, don't forget, own it. This is David Taylor saying, ciao. How many employees do you have? How many phone lines you got? I can do this, I can do that. Oh my God, I can save you money. Mr. Taylor, this is gonna hurt you a whole lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Didn't work. Can I ask you a question? What does probing mean to you? <laughs> well... <laughs> Cut. I can do this, I can do that. Oh my God, I can save you money.